of you will know from our Styles HUV that we are the UK's leading supplier of heat transfer vinyl, but did you know we also supply the UK's leading cutting machine, the Graftec C7000. I'm really delighted to be joined by Ellen today who's going to tell us everything you need to know about buying the correct vinyl cutter. So Ellen, tell me a little bit about the Graftec C7000. So this machine is the C7000, this is the latest edition. This is great for cutting out your heat transfer vinyls, great for cutting out the, the builder that you have, the stretch vinyl, all those different types of vinyls that, that you guys supply is great to yeah. be put through this machine. Because of the width of the machine so you know the size of the material that you guys supply fit perfectly in one yeah. of these machines. So every roll of heat transfer vinyl professional level heat transfer vinyl always comes at 500 millimeter wide and because this is the C7000-60 it means it's 600 millimeters wide so it means it's perfect for all of our heat transfer vinyl. Correct so with this machine you have a stand and also put the material in the back of the machine so that helps guide the material in and out. Yep. So you'd always load the material from the rear of the machine and then feed it through. So this is your um, area where the blade is and this yep. is what's going to be doing all the designs. So this is your control panel as well. Here you control the force and the speed and that's all you really need to know. Yeah. And then in here is the actual blade so you just need to amend the blade to the relevant depth dependent on the material that you have so it does range from you know thicker material to thinner materials. You create your design within a software which the machine actually comes with. So you can use either Graphitech Studios or if you use an Adobe Illustrator, it works well with that as well. Yeah. And once you've got your design, you can send that through. When you are doing heat transfer vinyl though, you do need to remember to mirror the Obviously, design. Obviously, yep. The amount of times that I've done that mistake as well. Oh yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> so once you've mirrored the design, you can then send the job through and then it will perform you know, the cut at whatever size that you want it to and however many designs that you want as well. So whether that's one or two, you can really make use of that, that length of vinyl. Yeah, I think that's a really important thing to notice that this is a professional cutting machine. So it can take a whole roll of vinyl. You could do 25 meters at a time if you wanted to. So you could just, you could literally do, I mean, we have it on our website that if you're doing say 10 death chest type things, you can do enough vinyl on a 25 meter roll to make about 17,000 pounds. So you could literally just set this go and do 25 meters and that's how much profit it could add to your business. It's that kind of, real workhorse for the machine as well. Yeah, it really is a workhorse, it really is. And the great thing as well, like you say, is because the software and the setup is so easy, it means that if you're going from like a silhouette cutter or a Cameo, Cameo Plus, it means that the transition to becoming a professional vinyl cutter is really not much of a um, learning curve, is it? It's really not, no. It's just learning how to change the, the settings in there, and that's really it. You can, you can do a lot more with one of these machines. Yeah, and all the vinyl cutting settings are all on each individual product page on our website on targettransfers.com. So so don't worry about remembering them or anything we talk about in terms of settings, they'll all be on there ready for you. So shall we cut something out? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so talk me through what you're doing here. So how do we so, load it on in the first place? I yeah, think that's so a good place if to start. we switch it off, yep. which is just on the button. Okay. So if we start fresh, so yep. pop the machine on. Yeah. So it's just waking up. If I was to not have any media in, you've got a lever here. Yep. So you just pop that lever down, so okay. that releases these pinch rollers. So these little rollers here. Yep. So then, as I mentioned before, you put the material in from the rear and yep. then load it in. So with material, you want to make sure you have the pinch rollers. So these pinch rollers are just guides to help the yep. material come in and out. And those have little blue stickers above, but they also have like a grip roll underneath. So that yeah. helps the friction of it going in and out of the machine. Yeah. So you do want to make sure that your material is sitting underneath. If you find it it's ever so slightly off, so it's, you know, in, in the middle, you will find as it, the job's cutting, it will start skewing. So you might find your material like this. Yeah. And that's not what you want. No. So you do want to make sure that is under there. And then once, that, once that's done, you can lift the lever up and then that then adds tension. Okay. on either side so that's now secure perfect so on the screen here you'd have a selection whether you want it to you know complete from the, the edge of the material so you can go ahead and then press number one perfect so what this is doing is just measuring the distance from each pinch roller so that they will then reflect into the software the area that you have to work with yeah. which is quite clever when you're creating lots of different designs the other thing to always make note of is your blade okay so this is the blade that comes with the machine. All you need to do is there's a little nozzle here and that when you, when you twist it reveals more blade or you can take more like blade away. Yeah. Again, with the settings you mentioned before, they'll be there to refer back to. Yeah. And then you want to lock it in. So when it's applying force down, it's not going to move, it's going to cut yeah. at, the, at the appropriate force. 
Okay. You can go in and change the force and the speed using the condition button yep. here. And to do that, you have a tool which these numbers here reflect what you want to select. So if we were changing the blade, we'd go in and press number two. Okay. For the speed, again, you can go into number three and change the speed and the force, which is the, the main one that you'd be working with. Yeah. So you just select number four and then you've got the arrows up and down to add force or take away force. Yep. Once you find the correct force, just press enter and then that saves. So before you send the job through, which is quite a good thing with the graphic machines, you can do a test cut before yep. you send the whole job through and it not being at the right settings. So what you can do is you've got these little arrows here. So if you select this arrow, you can then do a test cut. Yep. So then you can do that test cut anywhere on that piece of media that you'd like. So I can move it round to here and then I can press enter. So what it does, it does a triangle in a square. Yep. So you then want to weed away the material. And that's a nice sharp cut. And that way, you know when it comes out nice and clean, you know you've got it the right settings. You know you've got the right settings. So if you're happy with that, you just press enter. And then come out of that condition. And then it will go back to the default. Okay. And then all we need to do then is send a design over from the software to the machine. You can do that with a USB cable or you can do it with a USB stick. Okay. You've got two options yep. to do that. So this is Adobe Illustrator for those okay. that have already got that software. Mm -hmm. What I've done is I've created my design and I've mirrored the design. So what I'm gonna do now is just send that through. And because we've already set the settings up here, it already knows exactly what it needs to do. The great thing about the GraphTech as well is that, that speed and the fact that you can hardly hear that as well. Mm -hmm. When it's going, it's so quick because it's got a it's got a faster engine in, in the actual cutting part, basically. Yeah. So that's why that's why it's a professional machine. That's why you could get away with doing 25 meters quite really quite quickly. You're not gonna you could just I mean you could let it go and it'd be absolutely fine. Yeah. As well as it means it's great because you can then just get on with the other jobs at the same time. So we've cut our vinyl out and I'm gonna get my handy LED weeder, grab the edge of it and just start pulling that vinyl away. One thing also what I've done here is I added a weeding border, which you can yeah. do in the software as well. So that again helps when you weeded that away. Otherwise you would have been left just trying to pull away all the material. Yeah, that's a top tip, especially when you're doing lots of volume of vinyl, is always to use that box, because it just means you've got something to grab onto when you're pulling the vinyl away, and just makes your life so much easier that way. Yeah. So that's how you do sports film extra vinyl. Sports film extra is what some people might know as flex, but is the world's leading heat transfer vinyl. So this is the stuff you have on your t-shirts, your jumpers, your hoodies, and all you need to do, put it onto Illustrator, your designer to Illustrator, make sure your settings are right here, hit send, and just like that, it was done, and you've got a design that we can apply under heat press in five seconds, and that's it, you're done. Okay, so thank you very much, Ellen, for walking us through the GraphTech C7000-60. These are available to order now on targettransfers.com. You can have it as a desktop or with a stand. No matter what you want, we've got you covered.